Hey everyone, welcome back to another video on the Fox Tech YouTube channel. And this time we're going to be talking about the airdrop and how you can make sure that you find the airdrop files that you receive. Because anyone can actually send you something over airdrop or you can even use your own iPhone to share in some files. But where do you actually find it? First of all, let's take a look at the photos. Because if someone shares a particular photo with you over airdrop, there's only one place where it goes. So I'm going to show it to you right now. At first, I have to enable the airdrop like this for everyone. And when I share a picture, you can see I would like to share a photo. And if I accept it, it doesn't even ask me about anything. It just opens up the photos app and my photo is saved there instantly without even asking me if i want to do it or not so it's not really a problem with the photos so if you want to just always check out you can open up the photos app and stuff like this it's not even a problem however you're going to find out that inside of the photos app you find the imports album you can see media types, utilities, you have some hidden, recently deleted, but imports contains the videos or photos which have been airdropped to you. So this is exactly the section where you can browse through all of the photos that you have received from someone else or other devices. However, if we move on to some kind of different type of file, let's say it's going to be a PDF or it's going to be a mp3 file html whatever that is but in case somebody shares you this it's not automatically gonna be put inside of the photos app and it just makes sense but where exactly it might go you might ask so i'm gonna show you an example so i'm gonna share one file from my other device and i'm just gonna click on share you can see right now that it gives us a couple of different options so i shared a specific file which is i believe mp3 or some kind of music or a sound file and it gives you all of the options which are available to you so you can um, save it or open it up with files decline it obviously but you can also just choose the app store and click on some kind of app to download it and to use it with so it really depends on which apps you already have available on your device if it was if it just was like this case where you only have the files you can just save it with files and it's going to show it in here so you can click on save and the file is saved here so in case you want to find the airdrop files you just have to remember where you stored it or check out all of the locations where you just found where the where the um, file can be found so in my uh, files app you can see i can find it inside the recent section right here or if you know the name of the file you can, you can always just search for it so you can see it was 11 11 labs some kind of stuff right here so you can always just click on it from the spotlight search and it gets you right inside the correct location so if it was the files app it gets you right inside the files app i'm saying it because you might have some other file browsers available or downloaded from the app store and this will of course make a difference so that's a wrap for this video i really hope you enjoyed it and found it valuable for more videos and tutorials like this one make sure to hit the thumbs up and also subscribe so you don't miss future videos like this one thanks a lot for watching and i'll catch you in the future peace out till then